All right, uh, Shalom, Shalom. Want to uh, first off and foremost start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rakhakudash, double honor to the elders and apostles with great millstone on their real will, and much peace, safety, and blessings to the hopefully elect throughout the four winds, pushing this truth and sincerity and diligence. All right, uh, it's Brother Loyal from the Great Millstone Lake Charles, Louisiana camp, coming back again with another lesson, and as always, Lord, will it be edifying to the elect? All right, so uh, through the Spirit, man, I just want to go into the topic of uh, uncertainty, all right? Because um in the times that we're in, man, and I'll uh hey, man <laughs> precepts, you know, already uh uh coming. Uh you know in, in these times that we're in, okay, um uncertainty is gonna uh that 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 spirit of uncertainty is gonna creep in, but what man, there's no reason why we shouldn't uh be uh found fully with fate, you know. Uh, the scriptures tells you that uh, a lot was gonna depart, you know. But as for us, man, being a man of, of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, hey man, the scriptures are a hundred percent faithful and true, man. All right, as long as we continue to trust in Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, that escape way uh, will be made. All right, so this is uh, First Peter four and twelve. It says, "Beloved, thinking not strange concerning the fiery trial." You see, and any, uh, you know, if you know anything about a trial, man, a trial isn't uh. Subject to lasting forever, man. All right. Yeah, it's a period of time. All right. It says that fiery trial, which is to try you. And ultimately what? When when you pass that stage of uh, being tried, man, you're uh, ultimately going going through the process of building up your faith. Okay. It's to try you, man. So everything that, that happens uh, to us and that is going on around us is it, just to try us, man. You see? It's just to try us. It says as though some strange thing happened to you. See? So uh, we're we're gonna go through things that's that's what not common to man, all right, and, and and what makes it uh that way is because what we actually have the spirit to discern and know, uh the the spirit to discern and know exactly um uh how how uh that situation is brought forth, man. You know we know that these things are uh, being done just to try our faith, all right. So what man we shouldn't lack it. Okay, we, we shouldn't lack faith and trust in Yahweh by Shimei Al Shai. All right, I want to go into uh, the definition on the etymology online of uncertain. It says of it says of indeterminate time. You see, because uh these things happen uh in a in in a uh, occurrence to where you're not aware. You know, it catches you out of the blue. All right, it says of indeterminate time or occurrence, not fully confident. All right, uh implied in uncertainty. It says lack or indicating lack of confidence or assurance, man. And the scriptures tell us to what uh be be assured, man. You know, we we have that assurance of knowing that what Yahweh Bashim Al Shai is always going to provide for us. All right, why? Because the Lord can't be uh made a liar, man. You know, the Lord is not a liar. All right, it's written all throughout the scriptures that the Lord is going to provide for us. The Lord is going to uh what have it to where uh, uh nothing uh basically falls before our dwelling. All right. Hey man, uh, uh, we must uh, constantly and, and continue to trust in Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. All right, uh, uh, nobody said that this walk was was gonna be easy, man. But hey man, <laughs> it, it's not, you know, because what man? The the Lord wants us to be soldiers, man. So we must go through that hardship. Okay, it says uh not established beyond doubt. You see, still undecided or unknown. All right. And, and, and hey, man, the flip side of this is what, man, 100 percent belief. You know, we must have 100 percent belief, man, because uh, uh, prior to going through these things. All right. And having our faith built up. Hey, man, we've all been uh, through these situations before, you know. And that's why hey, one of my favorite scriptures, man, Romans 15 and 4, man, says the things written uh, uh, well, for what our learning, man, you know, things written in the scriptures so we can look back upon these things and what apply them, you know. The Lord always came through for the men of the Lord, man. And even in this lifetime, man, the Lord uh, 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 constantly uh, uh, amazes us, man. You know, how the Lord pulls strings and have everything set up, man, just for his elect. You know, and that's why we say, hey, Lord willing, we be of, of that number, man, and we faint not. You know, because uh, the times that are approaching, you're going to uh, uh, be uncertain, man. You know, it's going to look like there's no way to escape. But what? Yahweh Bashim Shah can't be made a liar, man. We could... Uh, uh, continue to trust in him. He's going to make that escape route. You see? Uh, I want to get this last one. Th this this last one. It says, uh, not established or confirmed. You know, and that's why uh, in Romans. And I'll grab that. 
in, in Romans it says uh, the, the creature awaited <laughs> for the manifestation. You see? The creature, hey man, we we're waiting for the manifestation that that uh we are the sons of Yahweh Shem Yahshah. You see, because uh what we we know, you know, and, and we continue to hope, you know. But as for the world, man, they know not. Um, let me see. Kind. This is uh Romans 8 and uh 20. You know what? I'll start at 19. The point is at 19. It says, For the earnest expectation, so you're constantly waiting, you see? And that's why uh, it's not known exactly who who the elect are, man. All right? The Lord wants you to fight. You see, it says, For the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of Yahweh by Shem Yahshah. You see, so we are waiting. But in that process of waiting, what do we have to do? We have to constantly fight, man. We have to upload videos, feed the flock. You know, in which, in, in hindsight, man, the scriptures tell us that what? We should be willing. You see, we should be willing to do the will of, of Yahweh Bashim Yahshah, man. When you go in and into the book of Colossians and it says, uh, put on as the elect. When you go into that word elect, man, it, 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 man to, to be of the elect is uh, one of the best jobs to have on this planet. You know, to be of the elect, man, it, it's held as the highest uh, occupation one can have. You see, and that's what we're striving for, man. We're striving to be the elect. All right. So uh, when that spirit of uncertainty comes in, hey, man, uh, uh, we're going to uh, constantly rebuke it, man. You know, and uh, look back and, uh, and reflect upon all the things that Yahweh Bashim uh has did for us, man. All right. And I know the, uh, the, the, the elder uh, Yerah basically came with a quote and it says, if you think you uh, if I'm not uh, butchering it, it says, uh, if you think you can't get through something, look on everything that you've got through already. You see? Look on the worst things that you've got through, man. If you only got through these, those things by what having the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Al-Shah on you, man. You know, having the Lord uh, being able to bring you out of that situation. So likewise, when these perilous times are going to meet us, you know, everyone else is going to be in a spirit of panicking. Everyone else is going to be uh, doing what they want to do. Okay. Trying to take matters into their own hands. And what? They're going to fall with America, man. You know, but as for us, uh, uh, hey, man, we're going to stand bold in Yahweh Bashim Al-Shah. It says, for the creature was made subject to vanity. So it was subject that we was going to go through all this hell, man. All right. When you go to, uh, what, Sirach, Ecclesiastes, uh, of the 40th chapter. You know, I grabbed that real quick. It says what? Heavy travail was going to be set up for the sons of Adam, man. All right. So it is, it's uh, inevitable that we catch this hell. It says, uh, uh, Sirach 40 and 1. It says, great travail is created for every man in a heavy yoke, man. If you have a heavy yoke or a heavy burden on you. It's going to uh, weigh on you, man. You know? But what? It's Yahweh Bashim Al Shai that's fighting through us to keep us uh, able to walk this uh, uh, upright and, and, and straight and narrow path, man. All right? A heavy yoke is upon the sons of Adam for, it says, from the day that they go out of their mother's womb till the day that they return to the mother of all things. All right? And what's the mother of, of all things, man? All right? That's, that's uh, Yahshua All right? Israel, all right, till we make it back home, okay? Let me get there real quick, just to uh, back up that point, you know? Galatians, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, kind of. This is Galatians 4 and 26. It says, but Jerusalem, which is above, is free, which is the mother of us all. You see? So we're going to catch this hell uh, uh, from what? From uh, first going off. All right? Because uh, uh, what the scripture said, uh, uh, oh, Adam, what has thou done? You know, you have not fallen alone, but uh, us too. You know? From the time we have departed from Yahweh Bashim Yahshai up to now, man, uh, coming back within those graces. You know? So we, we basically uh, took our lick, man. All right, and, and what we're gonna uh, be able to flourish through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, man. So doubt is is, is not um uh, hey man, there's no room for doubt. All right, this is Romans chapter eight and verse uh five. It says, "For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who has subjected, meaning put under Yahweh Bashim Yahshai." Uh, what had us go through this? The same in hope. See, so the uh, what the Lord put us through this, and what the Lord also had uh, basically embedded and uh, dispersed us out that that uh, that that hope, all right, that that great portion of faith, you know, so we can uh, trust, so we can trust in them. It says because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption 
into the glorious liberty of the children of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, man. And and this is what's coming to us, man. That great deliverance, you know, that great deliverance, man. All we got to do is continue to hold on. All right. Let me give uh, back to uh, this is Matthew chapter eight and uh, verse twenty. Hey, going into another uh, example of uncertainty, man. It says in Yahweh Shah said unto them, the foxes have holes. The foxes have holes and the birds have nests, but the son of man have not where to lay his head, you know? So even going uh, in, in, into what, man? Not knowing uh, where you're going to be at, man, you know? With Yahweh Shah, when he was speaking of this, Yahweh Shah was always on the move, man. You see? And, and, and it, the scriptures tell us what to be like evangelists. <laughs> you see? The scripture says we're going to be like to evangelists, man. Always doing the work in Yahweh by Shema Asha. All right. That's how you know uh, when, when you're in the right spirit, man. Because no matter what, you're going to constantly meditate upon these scriptures and how you can please Yahweh by Shema Asha. You see? Say so Yahweh Asha had nowhere to lay his head, man. And, and, and we're going to be what? As pilgrims at, at a point of time. You know? We're going to be constantly on the move. But what? Through that all. It's going to be how about Shemal Shah guiding us, man. You know, and for a quick reference, man, that's why I like uh, the movie. Um, uh, What's the name of that movie? Oh, uh, the Book of Eli, you know? Because though oh, it, it seemed like he was blind the whole time where he had the spirit guide him, man. And that's exactly how we're going to be in, in the times to come. And, and ultimately, what is being exercised right now, you know? We're not moving according to our own will, man. We're doing exactly uh, what Yahweh Bashim al Shah has basically embedded us for the, for the do, you know? So through it all, man, hey, hey, know that Yahweh Bashim al Shah got us. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 65 and verse uh, 13. It says, Therefore, thus said the Lord Yahweh, behold. So this is hey, this is direct from, from, from the heavenly father. You see? Behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. You see? Let's go to uh, that word servant to see exactly uh, uh, who's serving Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. It says uh, uh, to be a servant, it says personal or domestic attendant. So we are the Lord. <laughs> hey, man, we are the Lord's host. You know, we are the Lord's uh, Salak. You know, we are the Lord's uh, army. You see? It says a uh, servant, foot soldier, use of servant, serving, waiting uh, to attend, to wait upon. And we'll wait upon what the orders of Yahweh Bashim al Shah. Okay? It says a person working in the service of another, not doing our own will, especially in the household. All right? And what the household, uh, the, the house of David, man. You see? It says in a, uh, in a subordinate position. We are the Lord's servants, man. To ooh, serve. It's, <laughs> let me grab this one. To render habitual obedience. To minister. To give aid. To help. To give help. You see? To do duty toward. Show devotion. Me, being a devoted man. To set table. To serve at a table. To offer. Provide. Be a servant. Be in service. To be enslaved. And we are uh, what? The scriptures in uh, Wisdom of Solomon, the, the sixth chapter, tells us where we are bond. We are, we are uh, 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 bond by Yahweh by Shem Yahshai, man. You see? Having our feet in uh, the, the feathers of wisdom, you know? And we pray that we don't be loose, man, to, uh, to, to where the Lord takes the spirit up out of us, you know? And that, that, that comes, man, when you have that spirit of comfort from Yahweh by Shem Yahshai, no matter what's placed before you, you know that everything is going to be all right. It says be devoted, be governed by, you know, just, hey, and that validates that point. We are governed by what? The spirit of Yahweh Bashim al Shah. We are slaves to the Lord. You see? Let me keep it. It says, uh, continue on in uh, verse 13. I'll read it over. It says, therefore, thus said the Lord Yahweh, behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. You see? Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry sorrow of heart. And shall howl for vexation of spirit, man. So it's not going to be uh, uh, look good to, to everyone else in, in that spirit of uncertainty. You know? That's trapped in it, man. That doesn't have faith. You know? 
And, and you're looking at this world, man, like it speaks about in the book of Second Edges, man. This world was created for few. You see? I mean, Salaki, this world was created for many, but the one to come, all right, which is our kingdom, all right, that that's going to be everlasting is only for few, man. You know, it's going to be a few that uh, inherit, and then uh, two-thirds of our nation are going to be brought back. You see? But what, man, we, we can't be in the spirit of uh, uncertain, uh, uncertainty, man. You know? I'll get this definition one more time. It says, of inter, uh, indeterminate uh, time or occurrence. Not fully confident. You see? Not fully confident. We're supposed to have for full confidence in Yahweh by Shemir al -Shar. You know? And that's why we're, uh, we're brought through those things to uh, where our fate can, can be increased. You know? It says, not established beyond doubt. Because it's going to be situations where... You, uh, hey, man, we might have to fast for uh, X amount of days, you know? And, and what? While everyone else uh, uh, have, hasn't been preparing, you know, hasn't been being uh, built up in the spirit, you know? And they're ultimately going to croak and take that chip. But as for us, man, we're going to constantly uh, trust in y'all about Shimei Asha. So with that, man, Lord willing, this uh, brief lesson was edifying. I want to give our praises on the glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rekakodash. Double, double honors to the elders and apostles of great millstone and will, and much peace, safety, and blessings to the hopefully elect throughout the four winds, pushing his truth and sincerity and diligence. Till next time, Shalom.